Good afternoon. I'm going to show you a little video today on these oil filled hubs on my workhorse chassis W24. And uh, I was wanting to point out, and I didn't realize this, so I got to fooling around with it. In fact, you got this oil cap, which is you know which is handy for draining. But what you may not know is the fact when you unscrew it. Of course, you can do this at any time, not necessarily when you're changing oil in the hubs, which I'm about to show you how to do. But it's a good maintenance thing is just to unscrew it. And check it out because you got a little magnet there and you see there's a little few pieces of metal on that so if you took that off and you see a whole bunch of metal on there then you know there's a you need to be concerned and, and check your bearings but i was going to show you and another surprising thing don't it doesn't seem like to drain out a whole lot of oil now i'm gonna try to do this with my hold the camera and do this that's my goal try to catch it at the same time let's see if i, if I can get this foot to work right uh, this is not going to make a mess. Let me pause the camera, get it turned around, start draining oil. Alright, I got it turned around, and I'm catching oil. But you see, I'm only catching just a little bit. Not a whole lot at all. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty slow going. So that's why it, you just about have to take the cap off. So let's take the cap take the cap off and uh, see how much more we can get out of it because it ain't doing much at all like this okay so all this takes is a 13 millimeter socket I've got the four screws out and I just tapped on it a little bit it's about to come loose there you go right. I'm hoping the gasket is okay okay here we go man I'm, I'm missing it I'll get up there there we go and we've got more oil coming out. But there's one thing I was wanting to point out to you. If you notice, see how this has a notch in it? Well, that's one reason why we don't get very much oil out of it. Because the cap has a notch. But you'll notice the gasket does not have a notch. And you can see the oil, how all the oil is being held behind that gasket. And so I'm going to, I guess, I'm not going to get, I don't want to damage that gasket. That's my goal. But um, I don't know. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do next. If I'm going to take that gasket off or notch it. But probably a better way would be if you ever change your caps and actually get new gaskets. Lay the gasket on here and notch it. Put a notch in the gasket so the next time you go to drain it, you'll actually get more oil out of it. Because with that gasket in place, that's why we only got just a little bit of oil. Heck, I'm still not getting getting much at all. Got a little on the ground. But um, but let me um, let me put a notch in that gasket. Maybe we'll see how much oil okay. Here you can see that nice, pretty notch I made and. It did drain some more out, but uh, still not a tremendous lot. So when you go to do this, don't be surprised if you don't see a whole lot of oil. But I did want to point out the proper oil to use. You definitely want to use a GL5 80W90 per workhorse manual. They also warn against not using synthetic to use this GL5 80W90. Got this bad lane at Advanced Auto. And so, so one quart will be plenty to do both sides. So you know ahead of time, buy one quart. It'll, of this and you can do both sides really really easy um, and this came off really easy and didn't damage the gasket so I, I'm just going to put it back on there wipe it off clean and should be fine I'll keep an eye on it make sure there's no no oil leaks so um, I'll get this cleaned up and, and start putting things uh, back together and fill well, I just oil. noticed this by accident you notice I got more oil coming out I did that just by spinning the, the hub around and around I guess it circulates the oil up around the bearing and it'll start pushing out just a little, little bit more. That was interesting. Not much, but you see a little, little bit more is coming out of it. How about that? See the stuff you learn by just tinkering around, playing with stuff? All right, I'll just let this sit here for a while. I think it'll be the best thing. And I'll see how much more I can get out of it. Patience. Patience. Time to add some oil. 
because you see down here it's your, your minimum line and just pull your little rubber plug out here about it there it goes it just pops out keep that clean and this, we'll just add some oil to it and I do know from doing this before you'll add oil to it let it sit for a while it'll creep down because it takes a while for that oil to get past the rollers and into the hub so when you first do this don't stop and think you're done because you let it sit there for five or ten minutes and you'll notice the level will go down again so uh, take your time be patient with it and make sure you get it completely full and I want you also to don't clean off your little magnet any metal residue and put that on your maintenance maintenance list to unscrew that cap from time to time and check it make sure your bearings are doing well so we'll sit here for a while oh I should back up and explain something because um there's really there's no need to take the, the wheel off like I did the only reason I did that is because I'm putting on two new tires um let me show you what I'm doing that for see these tires put the actually the, it's kind of odd only my front tires start cracking my rear, rear tires were looking fine of course the, there, there's no pressure on them now but and it don't look so bad but they was when you get pressure on they was cracked really bad all the way around you could stick your fingernail down these grooves so i didn't like that these are 2011 it's now 2018 so they got seven years on them you know plenty of tread but i just ain't taking no taking no chances so i got my two new tires i got them mounted and they put those ceramic beads in there for, for the balancing thing so i just took them off myself took them to a local tire store and had them uh, uh, demounted and mounted so I'm fixing to put those on. So that's the only reason re reason I had the wheel off. So you can do this project without taking the wheel off. Uh, but in case you've never had had the rim off, to do that, you'll see all these chrome nuts. You really only got to take off two of them. If you look closely, it will be staked. So it'll, you'll have two. It's got the stakes on them. The other ones are all they're just they're just dummy nuts. They're not. You can see they don't do anything. And uh, so you just take those two off. Take your hubcap off, and then you can get get to this, and just do it that way. No, no, no need to take the whole tire off. Like, like I showed you, see, see how much oil has, has went down in there. See, at first it looked like it's full. It's been like 10 minutes, and it's drained in there. So you got to be patient with this project. Make sure you get uh, the, the, the complete amount of oil in there, and give it time to settle down. Okay, this is me just thinking. I think I'm on the right track. I noticed when I pulled this off. It was a there was a, a large suction. You can hear the air suck into the uh, into the wheel hub. So I got to looking at this. It's like a check valve. I held it up to the light and, and kind of bent it, and, and I noticed there's a tiny little split right here. So that allows pressure out, and so so I guess I'm assuming that, of course as you're going down the road that thing really gets hot, would build up pressure, and it'll push the pressure out this little check valve, and, and then as it cools off then would pull a, pull a vacuum. That's why I was getting that suction sound when I, when I pulled it off. I could hear the air pulling in. But that might be something to think about um, when you go to take yours apart. If you pull that off and you don't hear a, some type of suction, that may indicate your vent is not working good, but it might be something to look at, make sure this is still nice and soft and pliable so, it is, so it's doing its job. I believe mine is. So just something to think about. You can see it's dropping. I just filled it up and it's dropping some more. So I don't know how many times I'm going to have to do this. I'll, I'll eventually get it filled up. And okay, it's been over an hour now, so I don't think it's going to settle anymore. But while I was looking at this, I, I pulled out the, the manual. Because it's, you know how these manuals are. Sometimes they're not exactly as clear as you'd like them to be. Of course, you can see this here. It says the minimum oil level. Okay, so that line here is the minimum down here. But it doesn't say exactly where full is. I got the manual out and it says refer to the full line. Well, there is no line. It says anything about full. So, you know, I would, I would I thought, well, do you fill up under this line here? So I wasn't 100% sure, so I took a picture of it, sent it to Brazzles RV, and they said, well, I've got it right here. He said, that's the perfect. He said, perfect. Leave it right there. So I'm going to trust them. They're the ones who work on these all the time. So, because I would have figured, you know, if you do fill up, plumb up to this line, when you get hot, you get expansion, you don't, probably don't, it would maybe get above the rubber plug, it could possibly push out and cause a leak. Because you're, you know, with your centrifugal force, it's never going to be, it's always going to be to the outside. But also, I want to talk about how much, you got to figure, 
the amount of oil because this is your, your small bearings here your big big bearings in the rear and so it, it dishes that really really deep the hub does on, on the back side so it holds a whole lot more oil than what we're getting out see i only got just a little bit of oil now i can't remember what the manual said they want you to do these at 50 or 60 thousand miles it just seems extremely long and in the fact that you you know they tell you to, to change the oil but you're not changing oil when you drain this you're only getting I'd be surprised if we're getting a quarter of the oil out of it. So maybe a good maintenance routine I'm thinking from now on is now that I know how easy it is and if you take the cap off and notch that little gasket so you get more oil of it and oil out when you do this little drain plug here. Just every couple of years, maybe once a year, whatever you want to do, especially if you've already got 50 to 60 thousand miles on it, maybe every year for a couple of years, drain this out and fill it up. You know, you're only going to be getting out about four ounces maybe each time you do it after four years you probably get it all changed because of, you know you're just mixing old mixing the new oil with the old oil but you do that every couple of years you eventually get it all changed out that's my thinking anyway anyway right or wrong i think that's where i'm going to do it from here on out try to take care of it best i can that's all i know to do but i guess this should wrap it up I've made a lengthy video out of such a simple little process, but just want to make sure I do it the best way, best way I know, and and get the best information out there to you that, that I can find out. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you. Bye.